I, I'm going to say I have a disability called Down syndrome. And um, I know there's a lot of people out there that have disabilities. And I care for those people so much. So here I am today because I'm happy being the person I am. And that's myself. It's a new adjustment. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get used to this, but I like it so much. I'm Robin Moyer. I'm the assistant director at the Mason Life Program. I'm Herman Mitchell. I'm the residential housing coordinator. Mason Life to me is an opportunity for students with disabilities to get that college experience that their siblings, their cousins, that student down the street is also getting. Uh, to me, it means assisting a person with a intellectual developmental disability to go further with their education. Every year, they'll build on employment skills for him. Uh, obviously, the independence piece is, is key. After they're graduating, they are living with roommates with minimal support. They are holding down jobs anywhere from 25 to 40 hours a week. They're not just coming home and sitting on the couch afterwards. They're still integrated and going out and having a social life independently. My goal was to be a good singer is one thing and helping my friends with their disabilities because I like to help people. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing an internship at the Child Development Center. I'm with the, the three-year-olds. They're crazy. They learn meal preparation. They learn how to divide chores up between roommates and facilitate and get those done. We do require them to cook three dinners um, during the week, but they are required to actually pack their lunch and cook their breakfast in their unit. They would actually develop a grocery list and go out and shop for those um, items that they need for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I basically go shopping on Wednesdays and then I cook on certain days of, of, of the week. I make steak, sometimes I make chicken or steak chicken or sometimes maybe pork or anything I can basically eat, because I can eat like a whole cow almost. Well, I learned how to do that here, but frankly not at home, because at home my parents made all my meals for me. Well, I did my first cooking today. I took, I cooked turkey bacon by myself. It was only, it was good, but I, I've never done that before. Actually, I think the challenges they have are the same challenges degree-seeking students yeah. have. They're homesick, they're still learning how to do their laundry in time, that they don't run out of dirty clothes. Uh, or clean clothes. Clean clothes, all um, those different chores. They're, they're arguing over who left the dirty dishes in the sink and who didn't empty the dishwasher and take out the trash. So it's those roommate issues, you know. At home, they might have had their parents to do a lot of their chores and basically all of the housekeeping, but now they're basically on their own and becoming more independent. We were relieved to find a program that was as progressive as it was. We've moved around a lot around the country and you know we've seen some programs that have been maybe a year or two years long, but they're not as integrative. They may be through a community college, they may be with a support in an apartment type situation with employment development, but we really wanted them to experience the college life. Independent living skills, uh, activities outside of Mason life, um, a lot of social skills also is very important. These students want the same thing degree-seeking students want. They want to have a job and they want to live on their own. They want to give back to their community and as opposed to just sitting on a couch and receiving a disability check. Yeah. I think it would be a disservice to this population if we didn't have these programs around the country. I mean, the best thing for me, I mean, oh, I don't know where to start from, <laughs> but <laughs> the best thing for me is just just being here, it's just a blast. I, could have, I couldn't have done this without my mom's help. Because she's the one that got me into this Mason Light program. And I'm glad that she did.